BKU, man. Well, we're back here with some more action. Alex had to step out for a medical emergency, so it's just myself, John Watson, from NSU commentator here. Sorry not swift enough for you guys. I I'll try to keep up with everything going on here. Bowling Green here, up at the line. To start it off. Ooh! A fan got face shot. God damn! <laughs> Poor fan. It was a fan of WKU's who just took a face shot. I hope that fan is okay for WKU. He took a real hard shot to his face. Alright. It's a real slow start here. We only have a few players to go out so far for both teams. Big catch for number 66, taking out number 13 for Western Kentucky. Good block by number 99 at WKU. Number 25 goes out. Number four goes out for Western Kentucky also. Bill Banks up to throw. He goes out. Number 32 for uh, Bowling Green with a big catch. We're blocked by number 99 of Western Kentucky. Roll on and get back. 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 Number 13 of Bowling Green. He's very, I don't know what to call him. He stays up at the line in front of his whole troop. He doesn't stand back for anyone. He has a very good arm also. Felix now trying to get his troop together. He needs some help. He has number 99, number five also up here with him. We have one standing here on side of the table. He's pretty sneaky. I didn't uh, even see him. I don't think anybody sees him standing here though. Is at a standstill right now. Everyone's just being conservative. Want to see who strikes first? Good throw by number 12 of Western Kentucky. Takes out the captain, number four of Bowling Green. Two balls.
Western Kentucky calls back the troops. Good catch by number 32 of Bowling Green. Again, put number 42 of Western Kentucky. Michael Susan and James Rainbow here up at the table to throw. Number two and number five, West Kentucky. Felix looking for a ball. Show me something special, Felix. Right now, the medical emergency, I think maybe a guy broke his ankle for UFL. I think he broke his ankle, so that's a pretty big injury. by number five, taking out number 67 of Bowling Green. Big throw by number 35 of Bowling Green, taking out number 23 of Western Kentucky. Go together, Dallas, Go together, 10, nine. Takes out number 69 of Bowling Green. It was a pretty big throw. Billy Frank goes out. right now. Felix takes out number 43 of the opposite team, Bowling Green State. Risking his life, A missed catch by number three of Western Kentucky. Time out. We're gonna call a game right here. We have the medical emergency. So we'll be right back with you guys in a moment. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Uh, sorry for that little brief intermission we had there. 
Uh, we had an injury over on one of the other courts, a broken leg. There's one every year, always a major injury. This is a dangerous sport. Uh, so I've been taking care of all the medical stuff this weekend, so I had to go over and help out with that. Um, looks like we are 10 minutes in. This is going to be about a 30 minute uh, half because of the overtime from the first round. Massive group throw from Western. Doesn't look like it hit anybody though. Oh, you missed the face shot on the fan. Oh, what it happened? pretty legit. One of Western's guys threw it cross court, hit the guy dead in the face. <laughs> Is the score, has yeah, there been a still. point scored? No. Okay. The downside is going to be seeing how Felix is going to have to adjust the schedule for that game that got delayed, unless they're just calling it, but I don't know. You might just push them all back. Well, the good thing is each team has enough downtime that if you need to, if the schedule goes an hour long. Oh! Massive headshot for Western. It was a catch, but then he had hit in the face also. Number 88, Ian O'Connor, not realizing he was out, waiting a good long time to get off the court. <laughs> Into the scoreboard, busting the mic up. Good catch, my friend. Good catch. Yeah. <laughs> wow. To catch the mic. You do that again, I'll come out there. <laughs> he doesn't look scared at all. <laughs> See, now this is kind of one of the only major downsides of this facility is any match you play, there's always an advantage. Um, I'm sure what the camera I don't think can see, uh, this side over here that Western's on, the backdrop is a curtain. So if BGSU makes a really hard throw, it's gonna hit that curtain and drop to the ground. Yeah. What you might see happen a couple times, what you might see happen a couple times is Western will make a very, geez, Western will make a very hard throw at BGSU. It'll bounce off of the concrete wall back there and come back. <laughs> Captain crosses the line. He's a little <laughs> midline infraction. Ten, eleven. Oh, oh, right in the chest. From Felix, Felix Peroni with a pump fake oh. and then a perfect shot to the chest. Hey, hey, uh, no, no. Uh -uh. Oh. Even then, you guys gotta. I was trying to tell. I know. It's just we can get a penalty for that. Thirteen. Felix with a big old grin on his face. He wants number so proud of his boys. He wants number 22 to be out. <laughs> oh, big catch by Tyler Jury. Dipping down, scooping it up. Woo! Looks like he had 24. Yeah. I don't know, we got a, uh, got a mystery player out there. Yeah. The no-name player, number 24 for BGSU. We don't have him on our roster. Oh, 22. I should remember that one. James Reinbolt. Um, basically, out. basically getting hit on the shirt uh, and having to go out. He was one of the strong remainders left out there on the court. Tyler oh. Jury with an amazing throw, getting him out. I'm pretty sure on the ass there. <laughs> oh, and that finishes it out. 